All right, we're, we're gonna try this. We're gonna try a Zoom ridiculous kitchen. Told Andrew to be ready, told him to have something prepared. Let's see if that's true. Hello? Oh no. Greg? There he is. Wait, hold on, do we do this way? I'm a little nervous. I don't know how much I trust you being both the cameraman and the chef. I, I, it's been so long since I did Ridiculous Kitchen. I don't know how to do it. So what do we do? What do you mean, what do we do? You cook a meal, you walk us through it, you hold the phone. Then at the end of it, you're gonna drive over with the food and leave it on my front porch. <laughs> you know what, I have an idea. Let's do this. Can you see me? Hold on, add the music, ready, watch. That's that Drake dance, right? Uh, yeah. But all right, let's think. Uh, everyone's stuck in their quarantines. Have you been eating like sweet treats at all? You've been like ice cream and cookies or anything like that? I had some cookie dough mochi. Because the thing with uh, with sugar, it suppresses your immune system, right? So you want to stay away from that during the coronavirus. Everyone's stuck in quarantines. Everyone's gaining fat. I didn't want to say anything, but we could see it right here on Greg's screen. But anyway, right? Why don't we make something that is healthy, but it's also a sweet treat. You wanna try? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Chia pudding, have you had chia pudding? Um, in 1992. Chia pudding, what it is, right? Chia seeds, everyone knows chia seeds. It's a bit of a health food, but the reason that they're truly so good for me is they keep me full. They have omega-3 fatty acids, which is phenomenal, good for brain health. And then it has fiber and it has protein. So it has all your food. So right here I have black chia seeds. Can we see it? Hold that sideways, bro. No, the phone, the phone. Yeah. Okay, I, I knew this would happen. We're gonna take a cup or a bowl. We're gonna take any type of milk. You could use regular milk if you're a savage, but not me. I'm using walnut milk. The thing with milks, what you're gonna wanna do, you know how to pick out a milk, Greg? I don't. With the nut milk, what you want to do is get the least amount of ingredients. Ideally, two ingredients. So that's why I picked this one. These young ingredients, just walnuts and water. I'm going to eye around six ounces. So how would someone at home who doesn't have an eye for ounces eye six ounces? How about you do, You get a measuring cup? I did. So ideally, three tablespoons, put this up here, three tablespoons of chia for one cup of water. I'm gonna just experiment, try to make it a little thicker. You know what I'm saying? All right, so the key to mixing these together is you gotta go slow. I got the chia, I got the, the walnut milk, and then I'm gonna put the fork in, and I'm just gonna go slow like this. You see this? You see it? I see it. Put some mixing music. <laughs> Just go a little bit slow. You don't want it to clump. I like that we can still see your face through the glass. Okay, so now we have our chia, we have our walnut milk, but it's separated. So what the chia is gonna do, it's gonna absorb water and it's gonna kind of double in size. That's when the magic happens. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of mix it so it doesn't clump up. Let's grab some of our spices, Greg. What are these spices? We got my favorite, we got vanilla. Okay. Right? And then let's do a, a sweetener, obviously. But we're not gonna use sugar. We want something calorie free. So right now I'm doing stevia. My favorite is uh, monk fruit. If you can get monk fruit at the market, try that. Pick a number one through 20. Uh, 18. Let's do 18 drops. That's actually really good because 10 is not enough. 20 might be a little too much. Look at you, you've learned something. What if I had said one? I would have done 18. I would have done 18. All right, so now it's getting a little thicker. It takes about five minutes to work its magic. I know you've always wanted to have a guest on the show. I'm allergic to cats. Look what I randomly have here. Don't ask me why, but I don't have a color printer. What, why, what the hell? I got it from Facebook. Did you print that at home? Yes, and I didn't have a color printer, so it didn't work out. What were you gonna do with it? I was gonna film a whole stick figure ridiculous kitchen. Oh, uh, okay, well. They're all over my bedroom. Here, watch. Anyway, 
All right. Look at this. It's getting thick. That's chia pudding. Let, another minute, it'll be ready. Can you turn the glass a little? There's like a big chunk in the front. Really? Oh, that's good. Look, that's good you spotted it because the consistency wasn't up to my liking. Now, oh, now it's, oh, this is legit. This is so thick right now, it could get its own Instagram. Edit this to be like a beach photo uh, on Instagram. Ready? Watch. Probably not going to do that. All right, we're done here, Greg. Put that milk in your cover, but not in the fridge. At Ridiculous Kitchen, we don't follow the rules. Is it not supposed to be refrigerated? Listen, I'm not perfect. I've been stuck in quarantine, going a little bit crazy. Okay. Mmm. All right. I don't have garnishes, even though we've been in the garnish game for years now. Can we switch camera view? How you like that? So look at that. Boom. What we're eating here, we're eating pure nutrition, right? And then also you get that really sweet pudding flavor because it has that consistency, it has that sweetness. Let's give it a shot. Turn the camera though. Why are you trying to be vertical? Woo! Delicious. Here. This is weird. Good, right? Anyway, chia pudding, make it. Sometime, Ridiculous Kitchen, out. Yeah, we, we might as well just do all the trends real quick. How about this one? What else, what else is trending? You're sitting like we're in high school and we just have been talking for four hours at a slumber party. <laughs> all right, would you rather hold hands with Becky or Trish? I get it.